Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bartholomew Chidera. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to use Microsoft Word to design letter heading. You know, it's very, very difficult for some people. They are complaining. They don't know how to use Microsoft Word to design letter heading. So today I'm going to break it down and give you the steps and guidelines you need to use to design your private letter heading, company letter heading, and any kind of letter heading you want to use. But please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube so that you can be able to miss any video on my YouTube channel. Thanks. All right, we have to start now. On the first step, now you have opened the window. You're on your system. You now go to start bar, click. Then you will see the alarm bells. Type Microsoft. Then you select the program. It's opening. All right, let's wait so it's open. Now the document window have opened. Now this is the page we want to use to design our letter heading. All right, let's get started. First step you have to do, just listen very carefully. First step you have to follow is to set your page. Then you go to page, set your page size, then select A4 which is the paper you're going to use to print it at the end. Then you go to margin, set the margin, put it in normal. Good. Now after you have set your page, the next thing is to go to insert. Click on insert, then go to shapes. Select a bounce. Let me show you how to select it. Click on it. Then use your arrow. You go to this edge, watch very carefully, you go to this edge, then you draw the mouse. For drawing it, you can now push it down slowly. Then you can see this green button, you use it to rotate it. Right. Rotate it until it becomes perfect. Yeah, rotate it once again, so that it will be perfect. Right now, you have rotated. Then you now go to this area to format the color. Then you now choose color the one you like. Maybe I love this color. Then I don't want line color. Then I go to this place. No line. Right. So all I have to do now is to duplicate this pause. How to do it now I go to home copy and paste the same box you can see it's now two then I will drag this one up I will change the color how to change the color of this one and I go back to format click on format go to shape frame choose any color you like maybe I want to use this color okay Now I've gotten two shapes. I still need more one to conclude my boss. Then I have to bring another one. Then I go back to home, click on copy, and then you paste. Now it's not tray. I now drag this one up. You can see what I'm doing. I drag this particular boss up. Then for me to differentiate it from other ones, I go to format, click on fill. Then I decide to give it yellow. No. Just use the perfect match. Alright, use this one again. The boss is now trained. As you can see, it's now trained. Now I'm going this one up a little bit with my keyboard. Alright, I'm going this one up a little bit with my keyboard as well. Now, after I have inserted this boss, so all I have to do now is to what? Start typing my company name. Then how to do that, you go to insert, click on insert. Then for you to type your first company name, you use, go to word art, click on word art, then select any letter you would like to appear. I decided to select this one, to appear like this, then I will use this box to type, drag this box up, you go to this edge, you can see, the arrow will change, use it to drag it. Then you clean up this area. 
clean it up and type your company name for example my company name is Chibol group of company then I now drag this so that it will be in straight line after I've done this, so all I have to do now is to highlight this company name. And you now go straight to home, click on home. Then you now use this font here. You now select the one you like. Maybe I want to give it maybe red or yellow, any one you want to use. So let's go for yellow so that it will be clear. Alright, now it has a font color. Now I want to give it a light color. I now go to this place, test effect. You can see. Now I click this place. You can see I go to the outline. Now I click on the outline to give it a light color. Maybe. Alright, I now give it a light color. Good. So I now drag this a little bit up. Then the next is to write under. So I need to write some address under so i have to go back to insert just look at the direction i go back to insert click on insert then direct your arrow here go to test boss click on test boss to now open now you go straight to draw your own boss draw boss okay draw test boss you click on draw test boss now to appear like this so you have to understand that once you draw this test boss, it will come out with font and line color. All you have to do, you now go to this place, shape fade, remove no font and no line color. Okay, now I can easily type. Now I want to type the address. So let's use, for example, block. C block B that floor I'm now typing the address of the company that floor Megan uh -huh, Avenue Australia. So now I can see I've typed some address here, so I have to highlight this so I can be able to format it. And I'll go straight to home. You can see my direction. And I increase the font size. Can I give it maybe increase it a little bit to 16 is okay. I select my font. Select the font, the one you love to use. So I love this one, I go for this one. You know, direct it here. Still need to format it a little bit, you can board it. Okay. So all you have to do now is to give it a color. So I have to differentiate the color from the other previous one. I go this place. You can see to have a white color now to have the from other ones. Then you now set it in the center of this one. So I have to align. Bring a little bit down. All right, you still need to type another RS under. You need to want to type the phone number of the company. Then you still go to insert. Also direct your mouse to test boss. Then use the draw boss. You draw the boss by yourself. You can see it have come out. Then you also go to that the same procedure. Because after drawing the test boss, it will come out with font and line color. So all you have to do is to go here, go to shape, with frame, shape, frame, click no shape, click no line. Okay. I can easily start to type. Up your mobile. Mobile number. For example, let's use uh, one of the numbers here. Maybe a company have two numbers, all you have to do is to put the same 
two numbers the way it is. So get it right now. Right now I've typed in the numbers, company numbers. So all I have to do is also to format it. I now go here. Click inside the place and highlight it. Still go to the same procedure. Go to home. Click here. Give it white again. Okay. Then now uh, change the font. I'll use my favorite one. Adobe. And I increase the size a little bit. And I bold it. And I bring it under this address. I just align it so that it will match under this address. Now I've typed the company address. So what left for me to do now is this. I have to insert the company logo. How to insert it there and I have to go to insert. Click on picture. Maybe you have a picture which you have consulted for your company. We can go there and select it. For example, and I click on this place. Yeah, looking for my picture, the one I'm selecting. The picture. And I select any picture I like. Maybe the company is to do with clothes, something like that. I have to select any of this symbol and insert it to come out. Then I will go straight to the test strap. You can see what I'm doing. Now minimize it because it's so big. And I minimize it to my test. Can I use this? You know, put it here. Drag a little bit. If you have company logo, you can also put, but I just want to use this one as an example. Alright, since I've done this now, so what next for me to do? You know, this is a letter heading, so I have to put my ref and my dates. How to do that? You go to insert, go to test, then choose your test box. Then you come here, then drag this place to this place. Don't forget to go and remove the font and the line. You now go back here. No font. No line. Okay. Then you now start to type. Ref. Okay. All right. You now go to this place. After you have drawn the bus. So for you to see what you are typing, you just have to increase it a little bit. Maybe give it, maybe let's give it 14. So what you are typing will show clearly. All right, now use your tab lock to shift to the next direction to put your dates. Now put your dates. Okay. So when I move this a little bit up. make it be in a shape all right so you have put this now so you want to also to put a watermark it's very very difficult of some people that does not know how to put it watermark so look at the simple step you have to use to put a watermark inside this background so you now go to go to page layout click on page layout then click on watermark now go to custom watermark you click on custom watermark, it will open. It will show you the direction you have to proceed again. Now, go to picture watermark. You select picture. The picture I still want to use, maybe want to use this one. It's my watermark. Then I now insert. Then I now go to the scan. Click on the scan. 
be I want to give it a size of 200% so that it will be a little big and I click OK you can see watermark is there it's already inserted this watermark you can be able to type here you know no problem so all you have to do now is this once you have inserted the watermark so for you to round up the data heading you now go back to insert click on share I use this boss now use this boss then come down a little bit you draw this boss draw this boss this now I'll drag it to the edge make sure the boss was where it sits okay all right after you have drawn this boss then you now format the boss so any color you want to use maybe you want to use the same color you use for the heading you want to still use it so all you have to do is to go here search for the previous color i use then now go to line remove the line color remove the line color you have to duplicate this boss so that you become two go to home just get the steps first okay all right for you to differentiate this boss you now go to format you now go to shape use any color you want you know Click on this place, then it will now become two. I go back to here, then choose the color you want. It's now out. You see, so now you have dragged the color to the boss. So all you have to do now is to put your company email address and website. So, how to do that? You go back to insert click on test don't use your drawbar then you can draw here as well now expand this a little bit so don't forget to remove the fonts after drawing the test boss you remove no fonts no outline now you can easily type inside this boss now type so for you to see what you are typing you just increase the font a little bit i think 14 is okay then increase the font a little bit now you can easily type email you can type your email then say for my company email is chiba group of company group at gmail.com then you now give a space and put your website all right put your website chiba you can see i'm typing chiba Chibaygroup.com. Then all you have to do is to highlight this test and also to format it as usual. Click inside the box and highlight the test. Now go to home. Give it a font color. You can as well bold it, but it should be clear. All you have to do is centralize it, position it in the center so that it will be well placed. You just have to set it so that it will be in the center. All right, after you have done this now, you have gotten your company email address and also your company name, everything I've shown in this area now. So all you have to do next is to go to the file click on file and this is your 
print preview, you can see it, how it looks. See on the heading, it's well placed. So all you have to do next is to click on servers after you have done. Just save it to You can save your desktop. Right, it's done. You have saved it. This is all about letter heading. How to do letter heading in Microsoft Word and also put watermark, the steps and everything. All right, thank you for your time today.